Hello. Yeah, I know I'm a little late. Been busy. Been real busy. Emails have been crazy. I've been talking to a lot of people. Been trying to get shit done. Been working on my sweater. Trying to catch up on my stupid watch later list, which is actually not a losing proposition. I think I've gotten it to under 40, which is kind of amazing for me. So I'm doing what I can. I've been busy. The weather's been beautiful. Had to run errands. Not sure how long tonight's live is going to be because if I'm yawning within the first minute, that's a problem. So I might be tired and I am just here to listen to my body. So that's just what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it by ear the way I kind of always do. And And I'm just going to roll with it. I've gotten some good emails from some people. And they have been very helpful to me. And pardon me for being distracted. But yeah, I've gotten some good emails from some people that have been very supportive. And I appreciate that. Um, I'm not going to say the actual words because we're less than five minutes in and I like to save the F-bombs for five minutes plus. Well, look who it is. It's Ms. Maz. She's here. Hi, Maz. Good to see you. My goodness. That's fantastic. We're gonna we're gonna say our hellos, but I have to give you the uh, the opening jingle, as always, provided by Miss Summer Savage. Time to go live. Time to go live. Time to go live. Time to go live. Time to get high and time to go live. Yeah. Every night she does this to me, and honestly, I'm here for it. I love it. Nicole Yonker was the very, very first one in. Hi, Nicole Yonker. Good to see you. Hef, first one to get him out. We love it. Hey, yo, Ms. Zummer Savage, provider of our apparently opening theme song these days. Ms. North by God, Georgia. Good to see you. Hey, says Maya from Norway. Hi, Deanna Downey. Good to see you. Delrod. Dilrod. I'm sorry. My bad. Dilrod. Hello. Morning, Susan P. Hello, pub groomer. Hey, hey. Ms. Jen. Hey, everyone, says Ms. Duchess Diana. Marilyn Honig, yep, yeah, I showed I showed you getting them out in there sprightly tonight, aren't they? Sprightly, very perky. Morning, Jojo. Hello there to you in the UK. Howdy, howdy, the not so graceful swan. Mark Hardman, you're the sweetest. Hi, if you need rest, then shut, cut it short tonight. I'm doing my best. Um, we'll see. We'll play it by ear. We'll play it by ear. Ms. Mary, hi. Good to see you. I'm glad you're here. Hey there, you dirty stay-ups. Miss Rosa Lang. 
Hey, girl. Good to see you. No typos tonight with Mark Hardman getting them out. We love it. We're here for it. Hey, all, says Ms. Kim White. Time to party it is at Cricket's Place. Yep. Always, always a party. Uh-oh. Kimberly gabbled on. Guess who ate? Did you eat? Had you not been eating? I'm not sure. But Z knew Marlena. Everybody partake. I don't know who ate, but I'm kind of excited about it. Miss Misha, well, don't you look pretty with your hair down? Thank you. Going to be more lurking than anything tonight. That's all right. My kiddos are coming to visit their old mama in the a.m. Well, girl, get you some rest when you need to, honey. I'm just glad you stopped in to say hi. And thank you so much for your kind words. I appreciate you. Kim Leanne 67. Hey, everyone. You know what? I don't recognize your name, but I'm glad you're here. September June. Hey, y'all, I'm finally here, sick, but wash my face and brush my teeth. Go me. Good job. Good job on the face washing, washing and the teeth brushing. I'm proud of you. Ms. Artsy Tartsy is here. Hello. Good to see you. I should check my emails. All right, Kimberly. Oh, wait. Wait, does that mean Yamaya ate? Oh, I'm so excited. That means she's getting better. She's healing. I hope this means what I think it means, Kimberly. I'm so excited. And Tambor June, yes, please feel better, babe. Guess who ate? It was a tiny meal, but baby steps. Miss Yamaya. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, I am so happy to see that, Kimberly. I'm so glad that I was correct because I was thinking, I was thinking about her today. I was thinking about her today. And I am so glad to hear that she ate. Even if it was a small meal, I'm glad to see it. Sometimes when you're sick, you're just lying in bed for days. Yeah, you know what? Sometimes you just got to take to your bed. Sick or heartbroken, you just take to your damn bed. Just got done stuffing my face and not make shit. Yeah. I stuffed my face with McShit tonight. I did. I did. I completely derailed off of the keto. And uh, McShit. Yeah, I went for it. And they shorted me on my rooster rocks in a box. My chicken McDeadlets only had seven in the box instead of ten. And I'm a little mad about it. My third video is uploading as we speak, says Artsy Tartsy. There's a huge surprise I got in the mail. Really unbelievable. Watch me to find out. Right on. We will do so, Artsy Tartsy. And if you haven't, uh, please make sure to post as your whoever your alter ego is here on the, on the YouTube. So I think it's SPTV dash never ends. Um, make sure to post that something from that con. Wait, that's not the word I meant to start with. Post something from that username in the comments afterwards. Please do that so that we all know that we can go and uh, we can go and sub to you. It makes it super easy. 
you need McShit every once in a while. Me too, Summer Savage. And tonight apparently was that night. And Casillas. Buena noche. Hey there, peoples. Just saying hi before bed. Sending prayers who need them. Hugs for same and love to you all. Be well, kitties. Thank you so much. I hope you sleep sweet. I'm glad you popped in. Thank you. Deanna Downey is here. And Hummingbird says hello. Hello. I'm glad you're back. I'm going to do what I can to uh, try to make some people laugh tonight. I don't know how successful I will be, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I, uh, I heard from a certain person tonight that their anxiety level is through the fucking roof. And uh, they're not the only ones. So we're going to try to just have a good night. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to make people laugh, but I believe in y'all that you're going to help me. I believe you will. You sent me two pictures of Corey and Hummingbird. Can I share them? Am I allowed to share them? Corey's your daughter. Is that correct? I got one. I don't have the second one, but I did get one. Have I recovered from laughing last night, Mark Hardman? It, it, you know, I thought it was okay. And then today I started thinking about something and I thought, I don't give a shred of a, and then I went pants and my brain just completely derailed in the middle of it. I thought I was going full surge and instead I was going full what's his toes from last night. I don't give a shred of a pants. It was absolutely ridiculous last night. And I got to tell you, like most trolls, sorry, I'm shedding. Most trolls are trying to derail you to make you mad or whatever. I was super giggly last night. It is true, Summer Savage, but that was fucking ridiculous. Make better choices around paper shredders, son. How do you even get your, I mean, what was he doing? Straddling the paper shredder? Like, how do you get your pants caught in a paper shredder? Like, I don't even understand any of it. But the visuals it was bringing to mind was so stupid stinking funny that I just, I can't, I can't. The shredder pants, 100%. Absolutely, Nicole Yonker. It was the troll of the strangest kind, Summer Savage. It really was. But you know what? I've been giggling about it all day. So if they meant to make me giggle, mission accomplished. They can, they can check that off on their little troll scorecard. And if they weren't meaning to make me laugh, then I guess they have to put a flunk on their troll scorecard because that shit was funny. And Hummingbird, it still hurts. Yes, the shredder pants, 100%. I just can't. I can not. Sorry. I don't know why I feel the need to brush my hair right now, but, um, yeah, I have I have no evens to can't anymore. I'm out of it. All over the evens. Because that was some funny shit. I'm at work. My pants got caught in the paper shredder. What do? Bro, seriously? Are you a grown-ass adult? You're old enough to work in a place that has a paper shredder? pretty sure you can find a way to figure it out. Yeah. It was hilarious. So yeah. And I'm, I'm going to keep giggling about it for pretty much ever. Cause that shit was funny. Julia five, four, three, here she is. 
Hey, Dirty Stay Ups. Happy Pie Day. Yes, and happy Pie Day to you as well. I didn't trash out my diet completely. Um, so I didn't have any pie today. But I do have keto peanut butter cups. And I'm thinking that if I slice them right, they'll look like pie. And that will count. They're just very small pies. Very small pies. So maybe that'll work. Ah, here's the second one. And Anne, I finally got the second, Anne Hummingbird, I finally got the second one. Does that mean that I can, am I allowed to show them on here? Have had pizza pie. That's fair. Uh-oh. No, I did not miss Sunrise Dawn. When did you send it? Let me take a look. Nope. Nope, nothing from today. I don't have anything from you today. Let me check my spams. Nope, just people from another hemisphere wanting to uh, wanting to design my website for me. Yep, yep. I see you, Misha. I see you, Misha. I just got that that email from you. I will be watching that when I'm done here. With all these lovely people. Who's at odds? I'm not at odds with you, Miss Ann Hummingbird. Does Perkins still exist? They do. They do. Oh, it's in the comments, Miss Sunrise Dawn. Okay, I, th I, I thought you said email, so I didn't I didn't see anything. Um yes, and I'm I'm glad to see it. Perkins does still exist. We have two here in this town. I know that there's some down in the Twin Cities, and I know they still exist in Florida. So those places, at least. Um, does Perkins still exist? Yep, they did have good pie. Peanut butter cups are a circle, and 3.14 has to do with circles. So whole PB cups. Okay. All right. Good. Good. I can do that. Susan P., I missed your comment. Shit. Susan P., I'm looking back now for Susan P. I hear Summer singing, shredding my pants, shredding my pants, shredding my pants. Yeah, shredding my pants. I know, right? Yeah, I hear you. Strongly, Susan P., that's amazing. <sighs> yep, they do exist, Tamber June. It's true. I meant you said you were done with evens. Yeah, I had no evens to cant. I can't even. No, we're not at odds, my dear. Anyway, let me know if I can show these photos of your uh, clearly Summer Savage taste requests. I love that. I love that you're not a diva about it. Um, Fuck, what was I just going to say? Oh, yeah. Anne, you sent me the two photos of Corey. Do you want me to show them? Let me know. If I'm allowed to show them, then I will. I haven't seen a Perkins in Florida, Cricks, and I've been all over the past 20 years except Miami area. I uh, I have a friend who lives in Orlando. Yes, I can share. Thank you very much, Ms. Ann. So this is Corey. 
I believe that this is Miss Ann Hummingbird's daughter. And she's doing something. She's knitting on a loom. Look how happy she is. I love it. Yay, Corey. Welcome. Tamper June Loom Knits as well. Oh, half feels left out. Mama Drama Fru. Guilty of offensive attractiveness. She's so attractive, it's offensive. This is true. This is very true. We love the Hef. We, we love the Hef. Gotta have that Hef. Ow. We love the Hef. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah. We're happy here. This is the kid. The doctor said, put her away and forget I had her. Bullshit. Ms. Ann Hummingbird, I am so sorry that that doctor was a shitbag. Because they were. Nicole Yonker, this, those looms look fun, but I don't need more craft stuff that just stays in the cupboard. That is true. I know that feel. Hey, Carrie Ann. I shouldn't be here, but I am. Hi, Chow. Hi, Carrie Ann. I'm happy you're here. Even though you shouldn't be here. I won't tell anybody. It's our secret. You hear that, everybody? No snitching that Hey, Carrie Ann was here. Why do I look like Michael Jackson, though? Hef, I don't know. I ain't edit that fucking photo. Because you're also a kick-ass dancer? That's a good question. Yep, Hef, you do not like Michael Jackson. You do not look like Michael Jackson, rather. She's deaf and autistic. A UCLA doctor said that when she was two. That is a lot of bullshit. Someone did a graphic last night and here's mine. Very nice, Heather McLaughlin. I see them. Good job getting them out. I'm here for you. Susan P says, Duke is having a rough night. Gave him two calming pills. We're having bad storms and he's shaking so bad. Oh, Duke, I'm so sorry, honey. We're not having bad storms here, but I know how bad it can be. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hope that, uh, I hope, Susan, that he calms down very soon. Very soon miserable for the whole house the not so graceful swan says i tried my hand at knitting today and i should have taken a video i was all thumbs and so uncoordinated think i'll stick to crochet hey you know what if you're meant to be a hooker you're meant to be a hooker but we can teach you i can teach you to knit are you coming on the cruise speaking of the cruise yeah, that doc does need to fuck off into the forever. I'm concerned for shreddy pants. If continues and becomes a shreddy wiener. Can you type in a high pitch? No, but I think you're trying. I'm not real concerned for shreddy pants because, you know, when it comes down to it, sometimes we just have to learn lessons the hard way. Even if it involves a paper shredder. 
a really overzealous paper shredder. That's what he gets for wearing pants with Velcro sides to the office. Tamber June, you're having fast winds. A lot of people. Oh, she makes quilts too and hummingbird. Holy shit balls. That's amazing. Yeah, I, I think Shreddy Pants will get over himself. I made bacon last night, says Ms. Summer Savage, which is, you know, a form of worship. And I had a pan with some bacon grease in it, so I made grilled cheese with the bacon grease. It was amazing. That sounds delicious. I can get behind that 100%. Sadly, no cruise. Maybe the next one. It's all right. The not so graceful swan. We ain't mad at you. We ain't mad at you. We would love to have you there. But we understand if you can't go. Nicole Yonker knows how to knit, but have not bothered since I was a kid. So it looks terrible. That's all right. You know what? If you keep going, practice makes perfect. It really does. It takes a long time to be able to knit and get something that looks even like this. But it can be done. It can be done. And eventually you'll be able to knit and just like watch things on the YouTubes. I can't sit here and watch things on YouTube without giving my hands something to do. So I'm always, always knitting. And um, Julia543, you're on the next time track too. That's cool. That's all right. Good. I'm glad because I want people to show up on the next time. Never ever throw out the bacon grease is an immortal sin to waste it. I agree with you, Mark Hardman. You cannot convince my mother otherwise. She going to get rid of it. This is a woman who cuts extra fat off of bacon before she fries it. And I've had to stop her and be like, mom, I'm doing keto. I need that fat. When was the last time that you had your cholesterol checked? I mean, valid, but also, mm, so yeah, bacon grease, grilled cheese. It is a sin to waste that shit. You ain't lying. Hi, Marla Dillard. Good to see you. The fat is the best part of the bacon. I agree with you. Fat is flavor, but you won't be able to convince my mom of that. I don't know what to tell you. It be how it be. It's, uh, you know, one one has to choose one's battles. I hear you, Rosaline. Oh, yes. Yes, girl. My aunt used to save the bacon grease to make popcorn. Now, there is a theater down in the, the Minneapolis metro area where my best friend and I go sometimes when I'm down there and there's a movie in the theater that we need to see, we go there because they fry that they make the popcorn in bacon grease. And then they have massive chunks that are like cubes of bacon like this mixed into the popcorn. It's so freaking good. And you have, there's a full cocktail bar there too. So you can get your cocktails and your crazy ass delicious bacon popcorn. That's pork belly. Oh, it's so freaking good. In the South, there's a big ass mason jar on the back of the stove and the bacon grease goes in it to fry other things. You know, I was rummaging through Temu last night. And I thought of you because they have a, a bacon grease container that's labeled 
bacon grease and it has a little filter on the top of it so you can filter out all the crunchy bits if you want to but i went oh lord miss summer savage the second that i saw it no joke no joke i love bacon grease it's amazing it's so delicious um, chicken fat, chicken fat is good for other things. I put chicken fat in my, uh, in the chicken stock that I make at home from scratch and you can use it also, uh, when you're making matzo ball soup. If you make matzo ball soup, the best matzo ball soup I ever had, you would cut that, it would have a massive matzo ball in it. And you would cut that thing down the center and you could see ribbons of schmaltz in it. And schmaltz is the Yiddish word for chicken fat. Oh my God, so good. So delicious. Fat is flavor. Fat is flavor. Oh, I love you right on back, Summer Savage. Brain fog, I think. Hi, good to see you. And hummingbird, my grandmother put bacon grease in everything. Good for her. I'm glad to hear it. Chicken skin? No, chicken fat. Chicken skin got to be crispy and filled with flavor. Nodsville graceful swan. Now I'm hungry. I know. And we don't have any bacon in the house, which is frustrating. Um, but I think tomorrow I'm going to have a, uh, a big old breakfast with like eggs, toast, all that shit. You need bacon grease for all the greens? Yeah, no. What, what people consider greens up here is like iceberg lettuce, which is basically crunchy water. But I love them. I love me some collard greens. Don't get me wrong. I love them. Used to buy popcorn in 50 pound bags. Never heard of the bacon back popcorn. Would like to publicly apologize. Sorry, bacon. Yeah, Rick Spicer. You have no idea until you've had this shit. It is breathtaking. I have a hand puppet dinosaur named Minerva. And she eats the shit out of that popcorn. Like Minerva just goes completely bonkers for that. And if, if a rubber dinosaur puppet can lose their mind over it, you need to get some of that in your face, Rick Spicer. Not lying. Collard greens, turnip greens, green beans. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. I hear you, Summer. And it's gotten to just about the point where we're going to be able to put that, get that garden going. Get the seedlings happening and everything else. This winter has been so ridiculously mild that I don't even know what to do about it. But one of the things I'm going to have to do about it is get that friggin' garden going, like, with a quickness, like now-ish. So, um, that's going to happen. And I'm thinking about trying my hand at growing some collards. Because I want to be able to make some collard greens. I think they're delicious. I love them. Yes, Miss Not So Graceful Swan. Mmm, collard greens. Full English breakfast. Love, Nicole Yonker. God, I wish. I miss fats and greens. Tamber June says. My pancreas doesn't work right and I have no gallbladder so I have to low fat everything I am so sorry you miss cheese I bet you fucking do oh honey I'm so sorry 
cheese runs in my veins. I was born in Wisconsin. I can't even imagine. But yeah, Nicole Yonker, I can't do the full English, English breakfast love because I don't have any of the black or white puddings. I refuse to eat that roasted tomato. Um, I don't have any rashers. I don't have any bangers. But I'll find a way to work with it. Picturing the Swedish chef making popcorn. Swedish chef is the best. Bork, bork, bork. I may or may not have ordered a Swedish chef apron. Irish pub breakfast. Yes, I love it. I love it. When I was in Ireland, I ate a full fry up every single day I was there. And I was there for 10 days and it was amazing. And I don't care what my cholesterol count looked like because we were running all over Hell's Half Acre during the day. We was busy. So I worked off the eggs and the rashers and the bangers and the friggin' everything else that was on that plate. I ate the black and white pudding. I don't give a fuck. And I had some toast. And I had some of that delightful, fresh-made Irish brown bread. And I slathered all of it in amazing butter. Yeah. Every single day I was there. And it was worth it. Oh, God. So good. Sterling doing an impersonation of the Swedish chef is hilarious. Sterling is funny. But he's not quite on point. He's almost there. I do love that he's throwing things. That makes me happy. Just because I'm trying to imagine him scampering around, picking things up after he's thrown all the things, like when he's done with the with the live. And then he has to run around and pick up all the pens that he's thrown. Um, but he needs to he needs to get better at it. I expect improvement. Make it go right, Sterling. You can do it. Outback brown bread. You know, Julia, it's been a long time since I've been to Outback. And I feel like the next time I'm going to go, there's going to be such a carb festival. It's going to be a little ridiculous. looks like there's some gnarly, gnarly weather in Colorado right now. Snow, lots of snow. I'm sorry, Kimberly. And Hummingbird's mom is snowed in. And her sister's job put her in a hotel. Well, at least they did that. Cheesecake Factory brown bread is what I love. I don't know if I'm familiar with that. Cheese, fries, and bread. Yes, Summer. 100%. No, that's not the one I meant to click on. I'm sorry, Susan P. Bloomin' Onion is all for you and Mark Hardman. You guys can fight over that shit. Cheese, fries, and bread. Yep. Yep. That big old mountain of cheesy fries that they have with the bacon on it. And serve it with ranch. I'm about it. And their bread, they just need to bring me more butter because I'm going to be all about that. Just bring me a couple loaves all to myself. And then I want you to pack a few of them into a go container so that I can take them home and feel bad about my choices for like the next three nights. We just had more of the regular spring snowstorm in Trinidad, but Denver Boulder area had a ton of snow everything closed heard some of the mountain areas got three feet ain't that about a bitch sorry to hear about that julia go back to sleep sweet pea spaghetti factory bread is delish too i've only been to spaghetti factory i think like once when i was living in la and i don't remember their bread 
No steak, too many spices for the IBS. Fair enough, Summer. Kimberly and Hef will also eat the Bloomin' Onion. All right, so Kimberly, Hef, Susan P., and, uh, and Mark Hardman. They're going to be all about the Bloomin' Onion. Y'all can have it. I won't fight you for it even a little bit. Dead Lobster Biscuits. Okay. Yeah, we make them at home. We buy the mix at Sam's Club or whatever. My mom is all about them shits. She loves them. Okay, I'll turn off my light and listen. Good night, all. Girl, get your rest. Get your rest, Julia. We love you, and we're glad that you showed up, but you need to sleep. You need your sleep. If you can sleep, then you should sleep. Some of us cannot which is why we're still awake. But I'm glad that you're here. And I hope that you rest well and you sleep sweet so that you have yourself a lovely tomorrow. Deanna Downey is in for the Bloomin' Onion. Anne Hummingbird. Corey will fight for a Bloomin' Onion. Okay. All right. I'm going to stay out the damn way. Y'all can have that blooming onion. You have the blooming onion, but you step the hell on off my bread. My gammy love those garlic cheesy biscuits. Yeah, they are delicious. They are delicious. And now you can buy the mix and you just need to add some shredded cheese and brush them with some melted butter. They do the thing. Julia, you already took your night meds. Good job. Well done. I recently heard from somebody who is not online. Well, okay, so she's online. She watches shows. I don't know if she watches in real time or if she's replay crew, but she doesn't have um she doesn't have a YouTube login. She's a lurker. She doesn't come into anybody's chats, but she watches me and Reese, and A.A. Ron, and she's a nurse. And she sent me an email yesterday and told me that she sings the Night Med song to her clients. That gave me a tremendous happy. I'm not going to lie. I think it's delightful you know, for something that I just kind of did off the cuff and it's become a thing. And, and now everybody's singing the damn night med songs. I love it. I love it. So, Hey lady, if you're out there, I see you. I see you and I get your emails and I have responded to them, but you tell your patients to take their night meds. So that's important. I wish I could sing to them all in person. But everybody on the floor would get super pissed at me because they'd hear the song like 97 times because I'd be in everybody's room singing the song while you're administering meds. So maybe net, let's not do that. But I am working on trying to find a way that I can uh, get it made into a short and then you can play it for everybody. Mark Hardman has a cruise thing going on. I'd love to go to the specialty dining steakhouse. That would be Fahrenheit 555. But I don't want to go alone. Is anyone interested in going as a group? I would love to go there. It's delicious. Summer Savage looks like she's in. Half looks like she's in. I love it. Yeah, we can totally find a group of people that are interested in going to the steakhouse. The food is amazing. It's so good. My Lord. And I would I would love to be able to sit down and, and enjoy a meal with y'all. Just be warned. This is not a brief experience. You want to set aside at least two hours for this. And honestly, 
you probably should anyway, just because there's so much food there and you want as much of it in your face as possible that you want to have time to process it. Deanna Downey's in. Good. I love it. I love it. And if you know anyone who is still looking for a roommate, I know one person who is still looking for a roommate. Um, that would be the, the aforementioned lurker. Um, she's looking for a roommate. Uh, she lives on the East Coast. She's a nurse. She's in her, I want to say her late 50s. She's got religious trauma, but not from the Church of Scientology. Not that religious trauma is all that foreign up in this piece, right? Um, very nice lady. Not super technologically advanced. She's going to be getting a new phone pretty soon. She's very sweet. So if you know anybody who's going to be looking for a roommate and wants to sail and seems like they'd be able to roll with that kind of person, let me know. I know another person who's already booked, but their roommate has to back out because they're having medical issues. And I understand because shit happens, you know? So if you know anybody, this person is currently booked into an interior room. I believe if you know anybody else who's looking for, I would say a quite different experience than the first person that I mentioned. The first person that I mentioned is not going to be quite as boisterous, quite as spicy, quite as risque. But they, both of them on either end of the spectrum need a roommate. So let me know. Let me know. Keep in touch with me. I can still book brand new cabins. I still can. There are plenty of available, uh, plenty, there is plenty of availability. God, I'm mixing my tenses up like it's a goddamn casserole. Um, there are plenty of cabins available. There is plenty of inventory available in a number of different cabin categories. So if you're looking for a balcony an ocean view and inside, whatever you want, there's a lot of availability. Hit me up if you still want to go. We'd love to have you along for the ride because it's going to be a stupid good time loyalty before royalty here you are hi i see you uh they can they not book together the two people who are looking for roommates are at such opposite ends of the spectrum personality wise that i do not feel it would be a good match <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, the answer is probably no. Not not such a good idea. Hi, Gretchen Only. Good to see you. Listen, I got your email. I'll be responding to it when I'm done with my live tonight. Um, I did get your email, though, and I didn't want you to think that I hadn't. Um, it has arrived. It's just that, well, you know, here we are. So, Gretchen, you got here just in time. Just in time. Because the song that the very, very nice lady who emailed me before is uh, singing to her patients now is about to happen. Because it's night meds. Take your night meds. 
It's a modern pharmacology night meds. Time for night meds. They can help your physiology. Take them well before you go to sleep. They work while you're busy counting sheep. When you take your night meds, it's a happy, healthy snooze time. A snorey snooze time. You'll have a sleepy time. Night meds. Sip first so the melatonin doesn't stick. Also for summer. They're not quite ringing yet, but we're going to keep trying. Jazzy girl, Sarah, I see you. Y'all are going to shower with me. All right. All right, Miss Sunrise Dawn. I'm going through withdrawals. I forgot to take my meds on time. I hate this. Oh, Tambor June. That's the freaking worst. Girl, I have been there and it's miserable. There she is again. Travel coordinator therapist. Yeah. It's kind of what we do. Kind of what we do. But you know what? I'm not mad about it. It's a shame there are no balcony ADA cabins because we could upgrade with spicy. You know, there are balcony ADA cabins. It's just that they're all booked. I wish they weren't, but they are all booked. It's frustrating. Very extremely frustrating, but I keep calling. I keep calling to check. Kristen, Melinda joining late, but hi. Hi. Good to see you. You're not late, baby. You got here exactly when you're supposed to be here. Thank you very much, Kimberly. You got a OF? Who? I don't know what you mean, bro. Help me. Let's see, what else do I have today? What else do I have? It was lovely having a really good conversation with Reese. That was nice. OnlyFans? No, I do not have an OnlyFans. That's very silly. Why would I have an OnlyFans? Or an OnlyFeet, for that matter. I don't have an OnlyFeet. Because, well, it's been so long since I've had a pedicure that my feet are in scandalous shape. Marla Dillard. Have mercy. This is Marla Dillard's latest project. She's doing diamond painting. Check that out, y'all. Hedgy in a teacup, I know, I know, it's serious. Look at that little hedgy in a teacup with macaron. That's amazing. And I love it. Julie McGuire, 708. Hey, lady girl. Good to see ya. Thanks for showing up. Yeah, that is some... 
that is some kind of diamond art. Also, um, Marla, there is a woman. I'm glad that you emailed me because there's a woman who was looking to ask some questions about diamond painting. And I told her to talk to pup groomer Jen, but I think she was also asking for your information. Can I send her your email? She's one of the, one of the usual gang. She's just, she said she's looking to just get some information about diamond art. Let me know. Did anyone find Tommy's lifeboat live this morning to be a little disturbing? You know, I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it. So I'm, uh, I'm curious. What was the topic? Mark? Thank you, Marla. I will. I don't know if she's contacted you yet, Jen. Um, I told her to get in touch with you and she said that she would reach out. Oh, no. We don't do that sort of thing here. Loyalty before royalty. You've just been putting a time out. We don't do that. We don't do that shit here. Don't be rude. It's not necessary. Don't be mean. Not necessary. Hang out. Be nice to other people. You can disagree. I'm totally cool with disagreeing. But uh, don't be a dick. Or you go bye byes. He seemed off and angry. I also have to catch up on Tommy. He seemed fine this evening. He seemed in, in quite fine fettle this evening. So, oh, the topic of drug legalization. I'm pretty sure if I was a smart girl, I put that in my watch later queue because I am interested about it. And I'm interested to hear what he has to say. So, I'll have to, uh, I'll have to catch up. He seemed fine tonight. Psych! It's Tara! Hi. Good to see you. Love right back to you. It started as a discussion about legalizing recreational drugs in an effort to reduce fatalities. Harm reduction. That seems like it's right up his asphalt driveway. Maya is here. Maya's here, do 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 do. Maya's here, do 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 do. I didn't feel that. I felt he was passionate about the subject. Just my opinion. Okay, interesting. I appreciate you guys telling me about it. He was fine in the evening. Okay, yeah, I I agree with that for sure. Um, I'm interested in knowing. I'm I'm going to be interested to watch that because that's also been kind of a um an interest of mine. There are other places who've done it and who've done it well. Portugal, parts of Canada, um where they're not going to roll you up just for possessing a tiny amount. Oh no, now you have baby shark stuck in your head. I'm so sorry, Mark Hardman. Well, I mean, kind of. Hi, Char. Welcome back to being awake from your nap. Glad to see you. Um, that's all right. Mark, there will be other songs that will be popped into your head before the end of this live. I promise you. 
Maya is so tired that she is close to feeling drunk. Oh, can you not go back to bed, Maya? Maybe you should. Was there a moose making noises or a reindeer making noises outside your window all night? Noises of unrequited love. Kimberly says, oh, I did hear a little of it. I didn't have a problem with what little I heard. Okay, good. Oh, no, Mark, everyone is trying to put different songs in your head. And they're mean. Wow. The time warp, small world. Holy crap in a basket. Okay, Jen, you got the email. It was in the spam folder. Good job. Trousers in the shredder. I know, I know it's serious. Hmm. I'll have to think about it. Frozen. Oh, this is a song that doesn't end. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue singing it forever just because this is a song that doesn't end. <laughs> Or this is a song that annoys everybody, annoys everybody, annoys everybody. This is a song that annoys everybody, and it goes something like this. This is a song that annoys everybody, annoys everybody. Oh. Oh, see, Summer is bringing the good tunes. I won't let you down. I will not give you up. I have some faith in the sound. It's the only good thing that I've got. I won't let you down. I will not give you up. Yeah. There you go. Freedom. 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 You got to give her what you take. Yeah, yeah. I would say go with Summer Savage on this one. Because that one's, that one's, ooh, yeah. That's a good one. Oh, my God, my mental health is suffering. No, honey, listen to the George Michael. You're going to be okay. Fun fact, I heard on the radio this morning, 43 years ago today, Jesse's girl dropped by rick springfield yep i was in the sixth grade 43 years ago today i was seven so i was in second grade i think second grade Yeah, I see you. I see you, Summer. Girl, you am singing along. Yeah. I'm going to tell Reese that I'm being musically harassed. And she's going to say, Mama said not to, but I did it anyway, misbehaving. I don't think people should be thrown in jail for it, but he had concerns about the mouth that's coming in. Yeah, but that's that's not on the on the user's part. I don't think that should fall on the user's shoulders. Also, if it gets legalized, 
Mark Hardman, you were 20. Okay. Um, once it get legalized, they're going to have to put some regulations in place. And I think that can only be a good thing. I woke up after sleeping just two hours. Oh, Maya. Because my body was hurting and I have a lot on my mind. Same girl. So it's nice to hang out with my favorite dirty stay-ups. Well, you're our favorite Norwegian dirty stay-up. I'm glad you're here. I'm sorry you're having a tough time. You have a Hits of 81 CD that had all the best of that year. Okay. Go ahead. If we're doing great music, Fuck the Pain Away by Peaches, Andy Griffith video only. Okay. You really going to go there? Are you trying to talk mashups to me now? Because, I mean, there's Single Ladies in Mayberry, which is amazing. I can go there. Artsy Tartsy can play Sound of Silence on the ukulele. Summer Savage loves all the music. That does not beat Freedom 90. Honey, nothing can beat Freedom 90. Freedom 90 is amazing. No real good music, lady. Okay, you don't need to yell at me, sir. First it's too many hyphens, and now you yelling. Calm down now. I've been singing Freedom 90 a lot. A lot, a lot. Especially in the last week or so. Because I've been taking steps. It would totally be appropriate to Tommy to show that to him. He would probably crack up, Rick. I think you should do that. Jeremiah was a bullfrog, was a good friend of mine. Off topic, can I see the tattoo on your left arm? Thank you, Tara. Yes, you may. It's my phoenix. It's my merit badge. It was designed by a friend of mine. And I got this after, so I've lived through a house fire and I had some fire related PTSI. And a few years after it happened, I went to go visit a friend of mine in, um, who lived in El Segundo. And he said, we should go and have a bonfire on the beach. I've always wanted to do that and like cook dinner over it and everything. But I didn't want to look like the only solo loser sitting there having a bonfire by myself. Will you go with me? And my first request or my first response was, how about no? And he said, wait, why? And I told him because um, I have a little bit of, of a challenge dealing with fires. He's like, okay, I'm an engineer. And I can tell you, number one, that we will be by literally trillions of gallons of water. And uh, 
I'll make sure to park within your eye line. And if at any time you want to leave, we'll leave. I sat through two fires on the beach that week and um, didn't have a panic attack, fed the fire, cooked food on the fire, and I mean, granted, yes, I got back to his place, took a shower, and slammed a glass of wine, but um, I got through it. And when I got done, he was like, do you realize what you've done? Do you realize what a huge level up this is for you? And so we went to uh, a place in Altadena and I got my Phoenix. So that's my merit badge. That's my level up. And if that's not the tattoo that you meant, if you meant the one on my forearm, then I'm happy to show that to you as well. But yeah, that's the one that's hanging out of my shirt little bit. Tara, thank you for asking. Oh my gosh, Crix, I had a house fire too. I got my animals out and the CDs and my CDs dropped my coach purse inside and coach gave me a new one. Nice. I got my animals out. I got my myself out. Um, I lost the teddy bear that I got the day I was born. I lost a full, complete Mac brush roll. I lost a whole bunch of limited edition pigments that will never be made again from Mac. Um, a lot of books. I had just moved into the place three weeks prior. So everything I owned was pretty much still in uh, nice flammable cardboard boxes. So I lost damn near everything. But I got myself out. All the humans and all of the animals got out. And uh, we did so about 10 seconds before the windows blew in and the lights went out. With St. Patrick's Day coming up, I've had mostly pirate songs running through my head and Irish drinking songs. What do you do with a Dave Miscavige? What do you do with a Dave Miscavige? What do you do with a Dave Miscavige early in the morning? I remember how proud everyone was when you told us on FB. Yeah. Yeah. It was a big deal. It was a big deal. And uh, it was... It was crazy, but I, every time I see that thing, it reminds me that I'm stronger sometimes than I think I am. That's a good reminder. I'm really glad that we got that particular merit badge when we did. And I love having it. I love having it. I don't get tired of seeing any of my tattoos. My mom was asking me the other night because she was asking me about the one on my forearm. Um, and she said, do you ever get tired of it? And I said, no. I love having it. I love seeing it. I look at it all the time. I have my my best friend's handwriting inked into my skin. So I always have her with me. And I love that. Bilf. Hi. We're so happy you're here. Good to see you. Glad you're here. Speaking of people that are here, I've been going for a little over an hour now and I should probably greet all of those who are not in my chat. Those of you who are listening and lurking and watching and doing your thing. Um, first of all, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Please feel free to hit the like or the dislike, whichever you choose. They're both free and fast and easy. 
much like some people that I know. If you do like what's going on here, go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button. Please check to make sure that you're still subscribed. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, as 27% of the people who watch are not, please feel free to do so. I would love that. It would make me really happy. Um, and it would make the algorithm really happy. We do have Super Chats enabled. If you wish to support the channel in another way where YouTube doesn't take 30%, down in the description box is my email address where you can send questions, answers, call me an asshole, whatever you want to do, um, as well as my PayPal and the Venmo that uh, I was pressured into getting. I cannot accept Zell at this time, unfortunately, which is really frustrating. But uh, I do have Venmo, I do have PayPal, and I do have GPay, if you roll like that. So I'm glad y'all are here. Welcome. My Wi-Fi is slow, but I'm still watching and I love the Phoenix. It's my mascot. And yes, I did mean the one on your forearm. Okay. All right. Thank you, Tara. Um, oh, my sister's apartment building caught fire while she was at work and the firemen saved her animals because they heard her parrot yelling for help. That's amazing. Good for them. So the one on my forearm, I only have one starts there and I'm trying to find a way to effectively show it. It's there and it's Nolite Te Bastardes Carborandorum. All the print is backwards, I understand. Um, all of my flowers are poisonous. The quote is from The Handmaid's Tale, and it's it's bastardized Latin for don't let the bastards grind you down. It's the only color piece that I have so far, but yeah, that's what I've got. And, you know, as a little nod to the nerds, the black lotus that's in there is from Crack the uh, Magic the Gathering. So... Yeah. All poisonous flowers and a lot of pretty swirly bits and, and uh, my best friend's handwriting on my arm. Don't let the bastards grind you down. Sometimes we need a reminder. I need a reminder sometimes more often than most, so I had it etched into my skin. Your bank also dropped Zell for security reasons, Mark Hardman. Interesting. Interesting. Yes, that is that is non illegitimi carborundorum carborundum. That's that's a more proper Latin Latin way of saying it. But I wanted to be a direct quote from the book, The Handmaid's Tale. So I I went with the one that's the direct quote. I mean, I could get Zell, Rick Spicer, if I um, had a different bank account, I guess. But right now, with the accounts that I have, which are limited, um, that's what I uh, that's what I am dealing with right now. Marla Dillard, did you get your hair cut? Looks nice. Thought it was shorter yesterday. No, it was not. It's... Uh, it's still just as long as it was. I just had it up because it was getting in my way, as it do. Um, but I have not had a haircut in a significantly long time. I need to get a haircut. Hmm. 
I have Chase, better check, fair enough. Sometimes I seriously consider a tattoo of Jeffrey Augustine, Jeffrey Augustine and Alonzo hugging it out, or like an ironically large close-up of Mark Yeager in the We Stand Tall video, but I am terminally online. I understand. That is a dilemma. That's a terrible dilemma. I'm sorry that you're wrestling with that, Bilf, but you know what? I believe in you, and I think that you'll make the right decision. I kind of like the Augustine one, though. That was for Summer Savage. Tamber June, hey, you're back. Welcome back. Well, I've been going for an hour 20. Had to take the night meds. Finally feeling a teeny bit better. You'll feel even better once they finally absorb into your system and you're not dealing with the withdrawals anymore. I lived that withdrawal life. It sucks. But yeah, guys, I think I'm going to cut it a little bit short today because I'm just exhausted. I'm just tired. Thursdays are bullshit. But I will be back tomorrow. Same bug time. Same bug channel. And I hope to see you all there as well. Please like and subscribe feel free to support the channel financially if you choose to and if you don't choose to a like and a subscribe a comment on this show afterwards is certainly excellent support as well and i love it and it makes me happy i showed my mom the channel analytics screen yesterday and she was like it was pretty cool Yeah. One for the road, Zenu. Whoa. Sorry, Dill Rod. I'm kind of exhausted. I'm sorry, honey. Oh, if you all get the chance, Tori did a great interview on DOA's original channel. Okay, nice. I I do love me some Tori Christman. I really do. Yes, good night, good day, and everything in between. I love all y'all. I'm so glad you chose to spend some time with me. I appreciate you. I appreciate the emails of support that I got tonight. When I, when I sent um, a little bit of an SOS out to a couple of people. And it was, a, it was, what I received back was a whole lot of, fuck the haters. And I'm like, ew. I don't want to do that. Gross. But I appreciate all of you for showing up so much. And I hope that you sleep sweet. I hope that you have a good day and a good night. I hope you have delicious snacks. Be safe. Be well. Peace to you.